it, saw my work and he said, man, uh, when did you make this? And he said, I was like around 18 when I made the stop motion animation. He says, wow, this is impressive. Uh, keep going at it, something like that. Um, I can't say all the words for him. He would say better than I would at this moment, but uh, he very much encouraged me. He, gave, he, he kind of gave me a blessing to go on and do more creative work, do more creative, um, you know, art, <laughs> art in general. That's the right word. So. All in all, um, he, gave, he gave a big impact on me. I took a picture with him, and uh, he was a really nice, humbling guy, very much so. You know, I loved him for that. Yeah, I agree. Enrique, you want to share your story? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind. Um, it's a little easy to talk about him now, um, ever since, you know, he's moved on to uh, in the spirit realm. Um, he definitely uh, was full of life. There was definitely no excuse in his uh, way of moving. And um, I met him the same time Mo did as well. Um, I recall just me coming back from, I think, using the bathroom. And when I broke that corner, I seen him um, sitting on the side and uh, I said, that's a nice little nifty camera you got there. And he was looking at my lens and I said, I appreciate that. And then, um, you know, he was asking about me who I am and what I was doing there. And um, it was just the fact of the energy um, was just nothing but positive, positivity. And it was just um, his sense of just wanting to express what he's doing there and what he's been doing and acknowledging me and um, I felt that I was being acknowledged by a legend, literally. And um, knowing for the fact that his impact in photography, the graffiti world, he combined both of them. And not a lot of people understand where that came from. And he's at that forefront. He was there in the prime time where a lot of people were kind of curious about where's this art coming from? What is it about? And he kind of conjoined both of them and let people know that, you know, there's there's people that get paid for this. There's people that are broke, but they're willing to express themselves in a way that is called graffiti, because graffiti has been uh, looked down upon, unfortunately. And if you don't have permission, it's kind of like a, a, a gorilla warfare type of feel that you have to go out of your way whether it's broad daylight, whether it's nighttime, and risk your life to express something that is, I don't know, whether it's bothering you, whether it's keeping you motivated, it didn't matter. It was just the fact of that, just because this person had a different degree of art doesn't mean that that next person that doesn't have that same idea has the right to express themselves. And I felt that he was able to connect all around just collectively and knowing what he was doing was very powerful to me and it hit me right at the heart because um, I myself um, I am dealing with you know certain things but I've learned to let go because of him and I felt just being in his presence has helped me and then also just the small amount of time he's given me he's empowered me and um, also just being with this team, you know? We were there when we were interviewing him. Um, I was on the side taking pictures of all of us and I was just embodied by it and I can't get enough of it. And I know he's watching us over us and um, it's just a privilege and honor to be a part of this because his story needs to be told. And the fact of just the graffiti, the art, and also the photography that's just another form of art. And he was just able to gr grab it in a way that he was documenting about thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures, even before digital was even here. And now, what he has left is a gift. And with that gift, we're creating this and putting everything into it. And once we drop it, I, I cannot wait to see the beautiful reactions we get from it because 
not everyone knows the story of where graffiti actually came from and the struggle of it. So um, that's pretty much it. But other than that, um, a funny moment was he took a picture of me while I was taking a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually have that picture. And um, I definitely want to print that out and blow it up. And uh, I would like to give you that as well, just to show you of him and his prime. I mean, not just because of that moment, but leading to that moment and just acknowledging that what he's did was amazing. <laughs>